All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of the Halo Reach Mod Tools tutorial series here on the channel. And thanks so much for the support on the recent episodes. It's absolutely incredible. And today we're going to actually get into creating AI and spawning some AI in this map. So if you guys remember the last couple episodes, we kind of just went through the basics. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this thing. So, all right, so the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and press edit types, go to biped, press this add button. And once you press that, this dialogue will open. Go ahead and find what you want to spawn. So for me, we are going to find Marine. And there's the copy that we made. Press add tags, this button on the right. Press done. Press OK. You'll see a crap ton of text will pop up on the screen. Press edit types once again. Go to character. Go to add. Marine. AI. And the character there. Press add tags. Wait a moment for that to load. Press done, press OK, and you'll also see some stuff will pop up there as well. Okay, so I have just enabled God Mode and everything like that, so I cannot die. So now we're going to create a basic little AI fight right here. We're going to have some grunts over here and some marines right here. So we're going to press Tab, Tab out of our Spartan. We're going to go to the AI folder. We're going to go to Squads, press New Instance, and this will actually take a little bit. Your game may not respond, just like mine does right here. Do not fear, this is just the game creating the AI, the BSPs, and all that kind of stuff that it has to go through to create the AI for you. Just wait, mo wait a moment, let this load, and um, I'll be right back. All right, so once that's finished, you'll see that it says squads underscore zero here. We're going to go ahead and go into here, and we're going to go to spawn points. And you'll be able to right click on the map, and you'll see this little square will appear. Now this is actually a spawn point for this AI. We're going to press and move with these different things. So this is to move on the x-axis, um, left and right, forward and back, up and down. So we're going to kind of put it like up in the air a little bit so that they have a little bit of an air spawn a little bit and they drop in. This arrow here is to rotate where they will be looking when they spawn. So you see them two lines, wherever that is facing, that is where they are going to face when they initially spawn. So we're going to create another one. We're going to create four of these. So these are basically, these little squares are where these guys are going to spawn. Next, we're going to go into cells and we're going to press new instance. You'll see a new cell will be created. We're going to go into characters and we're going to do trooper copy. Chances one. And we're going to create a new instance for the weapons here. So we're going to go new instance. We're going to create four of these. So we're going to make this. We'll give this a shotgun and magnum a assault rifle and a dmr right there so now this is going to be giving them a one percent chance of each of these weapons for them to be able to spawn with essentially and the characters we're going to create a new instance for this and we're going to make this a new instance and we're going to give it the trooper copy so that there's a one that this is the only character that will spawn within this spawn points area here now we're going to go through each and every single one of these we're going to change it to trooper underscore copy do that for every single one of these and the fourth one trooper copy and there we are we have them in and ready to go so we're going to squats and you'll see that there's an initially placed button we're not going to mess with that quite yet you will see though team is on default we're going to change it to player and we're going to go back into squads we're going to minus out squads underscore zero we're going to create a new instance. Squads 1 will be created. It'll also have the exact same properties. So we're going to delete that. We're going to go back to here, create a new one, and you'll see that it'll actually be completely brand new. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to make some spawn points. We'll make four of them as well for the grunts that we're going to spawn over here. We're going to go into cells. We're going to create a new instance, and we're going to go into here, go to weapons, and we're going to create two of these. First one's going to be a plasma pistol. And the next one will be a, not a gravity hammer, <laughs> a needler there. I'm going to minus out the cells, minus out the spawn points, edit types. I'm going to go to biped, add, and we're going to go back one folder. So you press that green up one level button. Find grunt, biped, double click on it, or just press add tags. Press done, press on the object class, go to character, add, grunt, AI, and there's a ton of different grunt uh, variants we're going to do. We're just going to do the normal grunt uh, miner. We're going to import that. And now that is imported. 
Now we're going to go to characters, create a new instance, and not trooper, grunt. And I'm going to go to spawn points, press on each of these, and you can actually just scroll on this if you see that. It'll, it'll scroll with the scroll wheel there. Okay, so now those are going to be um, in this squad. So as you can see, it says grunt. This is the grunt's spawn area. And then over here is the marine spawn. So if we use our jetpack here and get up to here and we get like right to here, we're going to tab out for a moment and we're going to spawn in the marines. So hopefully, praying that I did it correctly in the foundation episode, these marines should spawn. Okay, so I forgot to add something. So this in the cells area, you want to go and find normal diff count. So for this, we're going to change it to four. So basically what the diff count is, is this is the amount of AI that will spawn within these spawn points. So if you have more than four different spawn points, it's going to randomly uh, pick between these four spawns. So if we add two more back here and we change these to trooper um, copy, you'll see that we have a little bit more than what we actually have in the diff count. So if we go to cells and we have four, we actually have six spawn points that they can choose from within the four spawns of marines that will come in so same thing we're going to go over here cells and we're going to change this diff count to four and we're going to go to spawn points and we're going to add a couple different spawn points so if you remember what we had to do before make it into grunts for the character type and boom we're going to save and we're going to go back here and we're first going to go to squads underscore one we're going to change this team to covenant because this is the grunts team and this team is going to be on player because it is a trooper. We're going to save, play squads, and as you can see, our marines are here. So they will kind of have, have some uh, some pathfinding here, which is pretty cool. But they won't be able to really move around like very good. They kind of just ambiently kind of walk like that. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to place the grunt squad. And as you can see, they are here, but they aren't fighting quite yet. So I think it's because they don't actually even know about each other yet. So if we jump down here, as you can see, they're on the same team, but they're not supposed to be on the same team. So to fix that, we actually need to tick the initially placed and tick it again here. And we're going to fly back up here. We're going to throw ourselves up here. We're going to save really quick and we're going to go to scenarios and we're going to press map reset. So basically what that's going to do is reset the map and now they will fight. As you can see, they are now fighting in this area and it is very sick to see this so some of them spawn with shotguns some of them have magnums as you can see there are shotguns ar magnum they're still fighting and we only got one grunt left over here but it actually looks like they have a little bit of pathfinding because this guy actually moved around a little bit and some of these pushed up a little bit so guys as usual if this tutorial helped you out in any which way drop a like on it hit that subscribe button it really helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, my name is Icy Advice. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial very helpful. If you did, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button as I said before, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.